Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your bi-weekly forecast horoscope for April 7th to the 21st. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful darling. So we're going to first look at the astrology. So as you guys know, the solar eclipse is coming up on April 8th. And there is a lot of weird stuff going on, okay? So, earthquakes, okay? Um, weird lightning. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, there's a comet called the Devil's Comet. There, uh, there is a... CERN is going to be um, turned on on that day. Uh, let's see, there's going to be three rockets that's going to be shot up from NASA that's going to go towards the quick eclipse energy. So... There is a lot going on. <laughs> so I just wanted a specific message of what you needed to know about that. So we're going to look into that first. And then we're going to go into your romantic love life. And we're going to find out who's coming towards you. What's going to happen for this time period of April 7th to the 21st. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about what's going to be happening here. Coming up soon in the next couple days. Okay. All right. So how is Pisces uh, astrology can affect it? April 7th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. I've got the King of Swords. It's dark heart energy. Okay, this is good judgment. Well, they're good cards. Uh, so let's see, because you you would you know all this hype that's going on. All right, so what's astrology? What? How is the Pisces astrology being affected? April seventh to the twenty first. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Okay, so we got the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the sun, of course, the sun. So when it comes to eclipse energy, what's going on? We are reevaluating things, right? The universe is saying something needs to change here. Something needs to be reevaluated. Remember, when you're dealing with the moon energy, that's inner energy. When you're dealing with the sun energy, that's outward energy. So, and then we got it in Pisces. So there's going to be some introspections going on, a lot of healing. I see lots of healing going on here. So there's going to be a truth for you or uh, information you're going to receive with the King of Swords energy, something through this conversation. Um, it's, it's going to be a sign for you guys. You're gonna recognize it as a very profound sign with this star card energy. Something's gonna to come to light. Um, also, the sun card energy can talk about the fifth house, which can talk about romance, anything you create, right? It's the house of children, right? Um, studies, okay, astrology. Uh, so something to do with, um, also your confidence, your courage, your strength. Um, it definitely looks like you have been, I feel like uh, just this Pisces energy here. It feels like you have been feeling like you've been holding something back within yourself. Um, something that you've been, you know, cause what happens is when we go, we deal with stuff. We literally just, you know, a lot of us just, I know I'll just speak for myself. I had stuff, things down like you know it's like all right I got hurt okay let me put that aside okay let me uh you know put that in the filing cabinet you know within myself right so and and you and you go through these periods of time where it's time to take those filing cabinets out and throw those things away so I feel like uh there's been things that you've been holding on to from before now you're going to be doing some introspections on these things and there's going to be a real healing journey for you guys coming up with the judgment card being there but let's get more information about it how is pisces astrology going to be affected april 7th to the 21st show me the cards you need to see show me the cards you need to see okay so you can see that yes, we see something about Venus energy, which is to do with love and attraction, beauty. Okay, so we see the attraction and pleasure from good times in this conversation. And then again, again you see something to do with the sun. There's something that's gonna be realized. 
You're going to take a leadership role around this. There's going to be, you know, you're demonstrating something. And it's to do with relationships, okay? Um, wanting to bring things into balance for you guys, you know, feeling like you needed to have a sense of fairness. So there's healing, there's apologies here. There's a, there's hopeful signs about some kind of conversation, some kind of communication that's going to come in possibly from a Gemini and Libra Aquarius energy It's saying this, this attraction will be demonstrated and somebody's going to come in playing politics there. Okay. They're going to say all the right things with the King of Swords energy. There's pleasure from this realization from this relationship and there's good times and you're going to be able to take a re leadership role around this and it's going to be a sense of fairness uh, healing energy here okay i feel like that's pretty straightforward guys so let me move this out of the way and let me get you some advice this advice from my pisces when it comes to their astrology and how it's being affected april 7th to the 21st show my cards you need to see show me the cards you need two Okay, let's see. All right, so you guys are gonna have to take some actions here. So confidence will be the key to your success. Remember, we're dealing with the sun. Confidence, courage, strength, okay? And have faith that it's all gonna be okay. Prosperity lies ahead for you guys. There's a new cycle starting here, okay? A new cycle, possibly in a business partnership or even a relationship, but let's see. Let's move into your romantic love life now. All right, what's gonna have my Pisces romantic love life? April 7th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need, Tracy. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. All right, Pisces, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. You guys are about to be really happy here with the sun card energy coming out, okay? Also, the sun card can show there's a sense of living in the moment, just enjoying yourself here with the sun card energy. Oh, okay, that's good. All right, and here we got the judgment card showing an apology. Someone may be coming in for an apology, giving you an apology, or there's a, a healing energy when it comes to your romantic love life. Tower card's coming out. It's gonna be a big shock for you guys. <laughs> so this situation is gonna come out. It's gonna be a big shock for you guys. Okay, okay, so let's uh, let's bring it all together. Who, what, who's influencing this? Someone you've been waiting for, Pisces. There's something coming in that you've been waiting for. And I see the nine of pentacles energy shows me the person who's coming toward you is single and available to pursue, or this is somebody you were isolated or separated from, okay? Your advice is to really give yourself some time to really figure out who you wanna give your heart to with the queen of cups energy, all right? So patience, queens are patience. All right, so let's let's go further here. So you're about to be really happy about this apology and you may really be shocked and surprised by it, okay? It is somebody you've been waiting for. Let's gonna have my Pisces romance. Love life, April 7th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Pisces, let's take a look here. There's someone that's coming towards you that is really sad and they've been crying about it. You're about to be really happy, joyful, because a message is coming in that you've been waiting for. So some of you guys have been out of communication with somebody. Okay, let's see. They're about to contact. Because I, I, I can see that there's communication going on here. Cups energy is coming out. I mean, page of cups. All right, what's got my Pisces romance? Love life, April 7th to the 21st. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see okay i don't know what's going on my hair today it just wants to do its own thing there okay so there's something about this house this home this family situation we see the sister daughter friend and it looks like you're going to find out about this person really overindulging doing destructive behavior and feeling upset about you so it looks like it's going to be through another person Okay, let's keep going. So there's some good news coming in about love. Yep, love. And I see uh, this brother, this son, okay, or this friend, or this uh, something about money and finance is causing a state of confusion. This person around the situation cannot stop thinking about you. 
there is uh, lots of thinking, okay? Because this is like this talk about money and finance. It could be money and finance involved. There could be an abundance of love coming in, or it could be a, an abundance of thoughts, which is causing some confusions. This person is about to go after you, uh, and there could be some pleasure seeking around this, or this is this is my card of going out, drinking, drunken text kind of energy, okay? So there's hopeful signs. There's some kind of uh, spiritual confirmation here. And it looks like possibly this person's going to just contact you. Yeah, because I hear they don't want to give up. Okay. Uh, there's going to be massive changes coming in for your rancid love life. Lots of changes, okay? There is an offer of love here, okay, by the end of this time period. This could be new love or a new love, Ace of Cups energy. It looks like you're going to be spending time with somebody. We see the conversation card. And it looks like the conversation is going to be about this ending. There's going to be a lot of soul searching going on. You're really going to be deeply thinking about this, doing a lot of self-examination here. Because you're really surprised about how things are playing out. Some of you guys may be even receiving a gift from a person here, okay, or an invitation. So it looks like you're going to be juggling a decision by the end of this time period. You're going to be like, I got to make this heavy decision. I don't know who I should choose. Okay, that kind of energy. Because this is a massive change for you. You weren't expecting this. And for some of you, there is a new person around. Okay, okay so there's someone you've been waiting for as the influence. They're going to show up. There's some good news coming in. And they want to fix and resolve this situation. The person who's coming towards you, something about this house, this home, or someone's like home for you. There's something unexpected about this situation. Your advice is saying, this is the card of transactions. And I feel like it's like saying to me, because we're looking at it from the advice perspective, that you know, you're know you debating on purchasing something, right? Or something of value and worth, something you wanna invest in, right? Do you wanna invest your time? Who do you wanna invest your time in? Because the Queen of Cups is saying you have to decide. Because of the fact that you have to resolve some of your sadness, okay, from before. Okay, so we got this house, home situation, and we see a person card in an ending with the situation, an abundance of giving. Someone feels really bad and there's massive changes coming in and possibly even a new person here. Child court energy. Okay, keep going here. All right, so somebody's really sad about this love connection and they wanna to talk to you to bring a sense of happiness they can't stop thinking about you. You're surprised because you're going to receive this message. It's almost going to seem like it's out of nowhere. It's very unexpected. It's a massive change here. And I hear this person, they don't want to give up. They don't want to give up on you. There's a happy energy, but a state of confusion about this offer of love. This apology and this good news, lots of soul searching going on, a real shock and surprise about the spiritual connection, the spiritual sign, and juggling this decision, this person you've been waiting for. There's a debate about your emotions here. Queen of Cups energy. Okay, so let's find out some advice for you guys, okay? All right. Can I ask advice for my Pisces when it comes to their love connection for their highest best good. Well, excuse me, for their romantic love life, what you should do April 7th to the 21st. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, you gotta work through your feels, fears here, okay? Because also a new romantic cycle is about to start. If you want to move forward with that, you can't let the past hold you back. There's actions that you're gonna have to take here, okay? You're close to achieving your goal, Pisces. Believe in the impossible, because the impossible 
is about to happen. All right, my beautiful Pisces, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you wanna claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, or you wanna talk about what's going on with the solar eclipse coming up, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.